The movie opens with Danny Rourke regaining awareness after being lost in thought. As he has done many times before, Danny is attending a mandatory evaluation session at his therapist's office to determine if he is fit to resume his police duties. The therapist asks him to recount the most traumatic day of his life and explain why he is sitting in that office. Danny complies with the request. A few years ago, on a pleasant afternoon, Danny was enjoying quality time with his young daughter Minnie at a nearby park. However, for a brief moment, his attention shifted away from her. During that brief lapse, Minnie vanished without a trace. Danny became suspicious of an 18-year-old boy named Lyle Terry and managed to have him arrested. However, Lyle persistently claimed innocence due to mental incapacity, insisting that he had no recollection of Minnie. Despite the passing years, Minnie remained missing, leaving Danny unable to move forward in life. Finally, the therapist grants him clearance for duty. Danny meets up with his partner Nix, and together they head towards a local bank in response to an anonymous tip received by the police regarding an imminent robbery. Nix shares some additional intriguing information about the call. Two other branches of the same bank were previously robbed, but only a specific safety deposit box was taken. Upon their arrival at the bank, the two detectives, accompanied by their surveillance team, begin observing the scene. They soon notice a peculiar situation unfolding, a man starts manipulating people through his words alone, causing chaos, attempting to break into the bank, and ensuring his own safety. Danny swiftly enters the bank to apprehend the man. Inside the bank's locker room, Danny makes a surprising discovery. He finds the very deposit box that the man intended to steal, but what awaits him inside astonishes him. Within the box, he finds a photograph of Minnie, his daughter, along with a handwritten note instructing him to locate someone named Lev Delrain. Keeping the photograph to himself, Danny soon becomes the target of the bank robber, who turns out to be none other than Lev Delrain. Following the bank robbery, Danny and Nix wasted no time in tracking down the anonymous caller who had tipped off the police. Their investigation led them to the store of Diana Cruz, a psychic. With suspicions pointing towards Del Rain as the possible kidnapper of Minnie, Danny disregards standard police procedures and heads straight to Diana's location. Upon speaking with Diana, the detective discovers that she learned about the bank heist from one of her clients and had intended to inform the police. However, their conversation is abruptly interrupted when Del Rain arrives, attempting to use one of Diana's clients to harm her. It is now revealed that Lev Del Rain possesses extraordinary psychic abilities, enabling him to manipulate and control people's minds effortlessly. Gradually, the true identities and professions of Lev Del Rain and Diana Cruz come to light. Diana herself discloses to Danny about a highly classified government agency known as the Division. Established by the U.S. government, this covert program was designed to train individuals with varying levels of psychic abilities, with the aim of developing their skills to control the minds of others. It becomes evident that the government intended to employ these mind-manipulating individuals to address matters of conflict and politics, and Diana was a member of this secretive group. Interestingly, Del Rain was also part of the division, having undergone training there. Despite Danny's initial skepticism towards supernatural psychic abilities, Diana proceeds to demonstrate her powers by taking control of Nix. As Del Rain arrives at the police station, he also manipulates Danny's mind, resulting in Diana having to fatally shoot Nix in self defense. Subsequently, she accompanies Danny to Mexico, where they meet an old acquaintance of hers from the division. It is during this encounter that they learn about Del Rain's quest for something called Project Domino. This powerful weapon, created by the division, has the capability to control the minds of individuals in any situation, even those highly resistant to hypnosis. Recognizing the potential threat it poses, Del Rain stole the domino and concealed it in an undisclosed location. To ensure its secrecy, he wiped his own memory clean, making it impossible for anyone to trace and locate the weapon. However, Del Rain needed to recover the knowledge of its whereabouts. Hence, he devised triggers or clues within his own mind to lead him to the domino's hiding place. 
Diana and her colleague now suspect that the bank deposit boxes and the photograph of Minnie serve as visual cues that Del Rain relies upon to recollect the secret location. Hence, Del Rain's current objective is to locate the photograph, as it holds the key to finding the domino, and if he succeeds in obtaining it, the division will be in grave jeopardy. Diana remains committed to assisting Danny due to her desire to safeguard her former team and herself. Together, they seek the assistance of another colleague named River, who possesses exceptional hacking skills. With River's help, Danny uncovers a startling revelation, his own wife, Vivian, is also a member of the division. Throughout his entire life, Danny had been oblivious to this fact, as his memories were manipulated to make him believe that he and Vivian had fallen in love during their college years, subsequently marrying and starting a family. He distinctly recalls how their marriage crumbled following Minnie's abduction, a tragic event that left them desperate and without any leads. At this point, Danny realizes the importance of skepticism and caution in his surroundings. Del Rain once again attempts to infiltrate Danny's mind, manipulating him into harming Diana. As Danny gathers his composure and exits the room, he embarks on a quest to uncover the truth about Vivian and himself by utilizing River's computer. The revelations that follow are nothing short of astounding. In reality, Danny Rourke himself was a psychic associated with the division, but his memories had been wiped clean, leaving him oblivious to his abilities. Astonishingly, his wife Vivian was none other than Diana Cruz, who remained an active member of the division, manipulating Danny through her mind control powers and orchestrating fabricated scenarios. Lev Del Rain, the adversary Danny had relentlessly pursued, turned out to be the director of the division and a key player in the plot to extract information from Danny. When Danny and Diana welcomed their daughter, Minnie, it was discovered that the young girl possessed extraordinary psychic powers, making her the coveted domino, the very item sought by everyone within the division. Due to her unparalleled abilities, the government viewed Minnie as a potential weapon, and while Diana was willing to subject their child to such research, Danny vehemently opposed the notion. Aware that the division would soon capture Minnie, Danny took it upon himself to remove her from harm's way, erasing his own memories in the process. This measure was taken to ensure that anyone who attempted to access or manipulate his mind would be unable to locate the whereabouts of his daughter, knowing that the division would relentlessly pursue Domino. Now, all the experiences Danny has undergone, which we have witnessed throughout Hypnotic, are revealed to be intricate fabrications implanted within his mind. He was deliberately cast as the archetypal detective whose daughter is kidnapped, leading him to discover a clue in the form of Minnie's photograph. The intention behind this elaborate ruse was to trigger his recollection of where he had hidden his daughter, as he himself had inscribed the words Find Lev Del Rain before erasing his memories. Unbeknownst to Danny, he was ensnared within a simulation, ensuring his pursuit of Minnie while unwittingly disclosing her location to the division. Once Danny Rourke is confronted with the truth, his mind is once again wiped clean, marking the twelfth failed attempt to manipulate him through the simulation. Unbeknownst to the division, Danny had strategically embedded triggers or clues within himself, gradually allowing him to recollect information from previous simulations. During the thirteenth iteration, he successfully breaks free from the cycle. Realizing that the phrase Find Lev Del Rain is actually an anagram for Deer Valley Lane, the place where he had hidden Minnie, his daughter, Danny swiftly departs from the division headquarters. The division, however, discovers this clue and pursues Danny with their team of psychics and soldiers in tow. Eventually, it is revealed that for the past two years, Danny had entrusted Minnie to his adoptive parents, Carl and Thelma. While the location of their hiding place is easily understandable, being a remote and secluded area, the duration of two years remains a mystery until another significant revelation comes to light. In reality, both Danny and Diana vehemently opposed surrendering their daughter to the division for research purposes, but their individual powers were insufficient to challenge the organization. The couple recognized that the only way to prevent the division from exploiting Minnie's abilities was to eliminate all members of the program. To achieve this, they needed Minnie to develop her exceptional powers fully. Consequently, Danny staged Minnie's kidnapping and concealed her at Carl and Thelma's farmhouse. 
Danny and Diana subsequently wiped their own memories, with Danny intentionally allowing himself to be captured by the Division while Diana remained within the secretive program. In the present, Minnie utilizes her powers to restore Diana's memories and manipulates the Division soldiers to turn against each other. The events unfolding at the farmhouse are masterfully orchestrated by Minnie, who holds control over the entire scene. In reality, they are situated in a remote desert location. Del Rain desperately attempts to thwart the family's plans to dismantle the division and find happiness, but his efforts prove futile as Minnie compels him to take his own life. The Rourke family is finally reunited and secure, enjoying their newfound lives liberated from the influence of the division.